Many times users in Active Directory, we find that our users have been disabled. And that can happen for several reasons. There could be an expiration on a particular user. There could be an import command to create a user, and by default that makes it disabled. So what we can do is we can enable them all at once or one at a time. Now we can see I'm in my test organizational unit, and we have three groups and three users. And you can tell that those users are disabled because they have little down areas next to them in a circle. So to enable them, all we got to do is just right click and choose enable account. Now you can see that the arrow was gone and this account is now ready to go. I'm going to disable it once again and I'm going to show you that we can enable all of them at the same time. So if I go to the three just by selecting the shift key as I select them, then I can right click and we can enable them all at once. However, sometimes people accidentally grab onto the groups as well. And when they right click, they don't see the enable option. And that's because groups cannot be enabled and disabled. They can only just be enabled. So I'm going to go back to my three. Now we see the enable option. And now all three accounts are enabled. So that's how we enable and disable accounts in Active Directory on a Microsoft 2019 server.